Here we're going to look at a problem from the 2016 Austrian Mathematical Olympiad. So this is from the final round and it is question six. So we want to suppose that A, B, and C are integers that have the following property. A times B over C plus A times C over B plus B times C over A is an integer. And what we want to show is that each of these individually are integers. In other words, A, B over C, A, C over B, and A, B, C over A are all integers. And so here are some hints. So you might want to try the problem before we look at the solution. One is to use Vieta's formula. So that's, that relates the coefficients of a polynomial with the roots of that polynomial. And in particular, you want to notice that if you have three roots to a cubic polynomial, r, s, and t, and you multiply x minus r times x minus s times x minus t, then the sum of those roots is the coefficient of x squared. Well, almost the sum of those roots. It's actually negative, the sum of those roots. And then the sum of the product of any two of those roots is the coefficient of x. And then the product of those roots, well, the negative product of those roots is the constant term. And then next, we'll probably want to use the rational root theorem. And that says if r is a rational number and it's a root of the polynomial a n x to the n all the way down to a 0, then r equals plus or minus p over q, where this is written in lowest terms, where p divides a 0 and q divides a n. And then furthermore, notice if this is a monic polynomial, in other words, a n is equal to 1. That means q divides 1, which means q has to be equal to 1, which means r is just an integer. And that's what I've written here. All rational roots of monic polynomials are integers. OK, so go ahead and give this problem a go with these two hints, and we'll come back with the solution. <clears throat> So now we're ready to look at the solution. So like I said, we're going to be inspired by Vieta's formula. And notice that if these three numbers are roots of a polynomial, then this is their sum. And their sum shows up as the coefficient of x squared inside that cubic polynomial. And then the product of any two of the roots, if you take that sum, that's going to be the coefficient of x. And then the product of these will be the constant term. So taking inspiration from that formula, let's go ahead and calculate the sum of the product of any two of these. In other words, let's notice that if we take a times b over c, and we multiply that with a times c over b, and then we add that to a b over c times b c over a, and then we finally add that to a c over b times b c over a, let's see what we get. So notice here, this b and this b and this c and this c will cancel, and we're left with a squared. Here, the a and the a and the c and the c are canceled, and we're left with b squared. And here, the b and the b and the a and the a cancel, so we're left with c squared. So this turns into a squared plus b squared plus c squared, which we know to be an integer given a, b, and c are integers. OK, so now let's also look at the product of each of these. So a, b over c times a, c over b, again, times bc over a. So let's see what that gives us. So notice this a is going to cancel this a. And then this c is going to cancel this c. And this b is going to cancel this b. And we're left with a times b times c. So here we have a times b times c. And now notice that Vieta's formula implies in this case that we have x minus a b over c times x minus a c over b times x minus b c over a can be expanded in terms of this guy, this guy, and the thing that we know is an integer. And I want to point out that we also know that this is an integer. So all three of these we know to be integers. So let's go ahead and write that out. So that's going to be x cubed minus this term right here. So that's a, b over c plus a, c over b plus b, c over a times x squared. And then we have plus this term right here, a squared plus b squared plus c squared times x. 
and then finally minus this term right here. So minus a times b times c. But this is a polynomial with integer coefficients. So I can write that like this. This is in z adjoin x. So like I said, a polynomial with integer coefficients. And now by the corollary to the rational root theorem, and I want to point out that this is since this is a monic polynomial, all rational roots are in fact integers. So that's an important thing to notice because we have that AB over C, AC over B, and BC over A are all rational roots to this polynomial, but by this corollary, that means they are integers. So in other words, we have finished our solution, AB over C, AC over B, and BC over A are all integers. Again, because they're roots to this polynomial, and they are in fact rational roots to this polynomial, which itself has all integer coefficients. Okay, so that's a good place to stop.